All right, y'all, it's Saturday, May 8th. Uh, welcome back to another video. I'm Eric with ReliableResellers.net. Uh, today I got a phone call, or a couple days ago I got a phone call from Ed, and he said he found me on eBay. He was doing some research. He said um, his relatives have passed away, and they have a bunch of items in a house, and he's been um, researching items on eBay, and he came across my eBay store. Um, I guess some of the items he has are lots of video games. Um, and he found my eBay store, seeing that I was local here in Tampa, and gave me a, found my website and gave me a call. Said um, he has all these video games and vinyl records and some old toys, some He-Man, some Transfigure, uh, Transformer toys, um, and he's looking to sell them. So I'm going to drive out there. He's over in St. Petersburg. It's a good little drive away. It's about 45 minutes to an hour away to get there but he sent me a list of what he has and if what he has is what's really on that list it'll be well worth my time so let's drive out to st petersburg it's about uh, should be there in 45 50 minutes according to the gps um i'm not sure if i can film i'm still trying to get comfortable asking people but let's drive out to st petersburg let's go meet ed let's look at these video games and these vinyl records if I can film, great. If not, I'll show you afterwards, all right? Let's go. Driving over the bridge from Tampa to St. Pete. Nice view today. Nice day out. Very cloudy in the sky. Nice warm day. All right, y'all, I just spent 450 bucks Again, I didn't film, I didn't feel comfortable asking, I've got to get over that. But the back of my car here is completely, oh, not completely full, about halfway full. There's uh, video games, I have a Super Nintendo in the box with all the cords. It's like 10 games or so. There's a regular Nintendo, bunch of games, uh, a rocker for a Nintendo. I don't really remember what that was, but the box is there. Um, there's a bunch of vinyl records that are pretty beat up. And then there's a lot of action figures. There's uh, He-Man and Transformer action figures from the 80s and 90s. I didn't look them all up. Um, I'm pretty sure what I offered them I can make back on just the video game stuff. And then some. Uh, so, should be a pretty good deal. I'll show you guys when I get home. Alright guys, so I've made it back home. I am excited to give you guys a look at what I've got here. So, in this box. So here's a bunch of Super Nintendo games. They all have the instruction booklet. So we have Top Gear, Super Bomberman 2. Aero Acrobat, Super Star Wars, Street Fighter 2, Mega Man X, Killer Instinct, Legend of Zelda, Battletoads, and Super R-Type. And again, they all have the instruction booklets. Also got... A Super Nintendo with the box it's in there I don't want to pull it out but just trust me it's in there both controllers the game um, it's a little bit dirty but he said it's in it works and it has the box so that's big um, here we have a regular Nintendo there's a Nintendo down there Right there, we have the NES Advantage controller, all the cords, and then in another box, this um, white box right here, I believe. Yeah, it has all the Nintendo games, so we can see Roger Rabbit, Legend of Zelda, Ninja Gaiden, Othello, 
The boy and his blob, Burger Time, Metroid, Anticipation, Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. Original, Adventures of Link, Castlevania, Gargoyle's Quest. I'm not sure what that one is. Mega Man 2, Tiny Toons, RC Pro Am, Sesame Street. Here's even the box for the RC or for Tiny Toons. And most of them have the instruction booklet. Oh, one more here. Captain Skyhawk. So that's cool. What else we have in here? Let's go ahead and look at this. This is really cool. So this right here, this um, rolling rocker. I mean, this just looks 80s. Like if you look at it, it just looks like it's it's rad. It looks very cool. Um, this guy right here, it's got the piece here. This with the box is $400. I've seen active solds all day long for that piece with the box for 400 bucks. I paid 450 for everything. Here's a bunch of records. The records are really beat up. They're not in the best of condition, but there is some Harry, Be uh, Harry Belafonte. There is some jazz records in here. There might be one or two that's worth some decent money. They're beat up pretty bad, so we'll just have to see. I just took them because I it was there to take. Um, there's a record player. It's nothing special. They just kind of threw it in. This box some cool stuff. This is a bunch of old He-Man action figures. Um, bunch of old He-Man stuff. Masters of the Universe. The Evil Horde. So that's kind of cool. Have to go through those one by one and just see what's in there. And then there's another box right here. And it's all Transformers from the 80s. Um, you know, open, but the card's there. It says 1986. So we can just see there's different ones here. There's a ton of them in here. I didn't look these things up. They're really beat up. But, I mean, he's got them all separated and labeled as to what they are. Um, some of the cards are there, some of them aren't. So, you know, I, I just bought it all. Uh, you know, just to see, this is from 1985. So, you know, I'm sure there's value here. I just don't know how much. Um, and this whole box is packed with them. Um, and then there were some books, which these I just kind of took. But there's a couple of Dr. Seuss books in here. I know Dr. Seuss books for a, a couple of days were like a million dollars a piece. So I don't know. And is this one of the ones that is an early retirement? I doubt it, but. You know, and there's a Dr. Seuss book. You know, so are those the big money books? Who knows? They wanted to get rid of them, so I took them. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they were basically free, so I took the books. Anyway, so that is what we got for 450 bucks. I think I can easily double my money here, if not triple it, depending on what this stuff is worth and if this is really worth 400 bucks. And, you know, is there a record in here that's maybe in decent shape? Most of them are really beat up. You see how they've been stored? They've been sitting like this, so that's not good for the vinyl. But, you know, maybe there's one or two in there that'll play and, you know, it'll be a $50, $60 record or something like that. And, you know, between everything else, I can piece it out and get about a thousand bucks here. So, all in all not a bad way to spend my saturday um i'll try to throw some prices up on the screen for either what i have them listed for or what i've sold them for i probably won't post this video for a few days 
so I'm gonna go through and kind of do some research on this stuff and get some things posted as I go along and um, I will update you guys as I have information so hey thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Thank you.